For those of you who are struggling from a direction standpoint, stop trying to fix the path. It's all about the face. We're gonna make intentional errors. So remember, we're always looking at things through the lens of intention versus reality. So remember, if you're committing to something and it doesn't happen, that's okay. Remember, you're just looking at it through lenses. Here's what I committed to. Here's what happened. It's not that you're doing anything wrong or right here. You're just trying to figure out what you need to do to ultimately gain control of the start direction. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna intentionally start the ball left, then I'm gonna go right, then I'm gonna go straight, and I'm just gonna pay attention to the intention versus reality phenomenon. So you're not gonna try to be perfect. You're gonna play with the club face, and you're gonna understand there's a little gap between what you try to do with the face and what actually happens to the ball. You got it. All right, here we go. So how far left are you gonna get that face to start? Oh, way left. Okay, so the ball took off because the club face was left. It's not because you came over the top or did any of that jazz. Nope. Club face was left, that's a fact. The funny thing is you can have an in to outer rightward club path and it can still start to the left. So this has nothing to do with the club path right now, it's all about your face. Very good, so we're at X Golf, yeah, this is the best. You hit the button, it pops right up, man. This is, <laughs> this is amazing. All right, so now the next thing you can do is try to get the face way open, is that true? Uh, yes, sir. And then the ball went right, or started right, because the club face was open, or pointed to the right. That's right, good, 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 good. Now third and final, you're gonna try to get the club face somewhere between the last two, is that true? Yes, sir. Not trying to be perfect? Square. Not trying to be perfect, just the intention is square. All right, and that ball took off straight because the club face was about Straightish, good, 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 good. So as it's playing season now, a lot of you want to hit better golf shots, you want to be more accurate. You have to go to the range and calibrate for the face. You have to understand it's about the face, then number two, calibrate for it. Seems pretty easy when Ben does it. If we, if, when people come to be golf, you'd be shocked how easy it is when you start trying to do it. Anything you want to add before we call off here? Yeah, just remember when you're doing the club face experiments, uh, play around with different amounts. So we always use what's called a slight, moderate, severe scale. So make sure when you're doing this, you're not just going extreme both ends. Uh, try a couple that are slight left, slight right, then go moderate right, moderate left, severe right, severe left. And what you'll uncover at the end is what you need to do to gain control of your start direction. That's the name of the game. So we hope this helps you. We thank you for joining us on Tuesday Tip. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments below and look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks for joining us. Number one reason why golf is frustrating and difficult to improve is this phenomenon that we know at B Golf. Ben, why is this most frustrating for people? Because what you think is gonna happen versus what actually happens are way different. That's why we talk in terms of intention versus reality. Two totally different things. There's what you try to do, there's what you get. If you're trying to be perfect, if you're trying to hit it consistently straight and it's a cluster, we'd say stop trying to do that. Intention versus reality is the name of this game.